Okay, so today we are looking at the plus minus hacker rank challenge. It's a warm up challenge. All right, so let me explain the instructions here. We're going to receive an array of numbers. So in this case, you can see where I'm trying to circle my mouse. We have an array of five numbers, which are one and one. These are positive numbers. Then we have zero. And then we also have negative one, negative one. So what we have to do here, what you see this output is in fact the ratio of positive numbers, negative numbers, and zeros. So we have two negative numbers. You can see here, we also have 0 0.4 because two uh, divided by five is 0 0.4. And we have the same thing for positive numbers. And then for zeros, because we only have one zero, we have one divided by five, which is 0 0.2. So we have 0 0.2 here. And the precision has to be set to six decimal places. That is what they have right here. So um, if you're using um, C, you're writing the solution in C, then you can use format specifiers to control the uh, precision of your, your decimal numbers. But I'm going to use uh, the set precision function in C++, which is from the IO manip uh, header. You guys can go ahead and read more about that on, on uh, C++.com, but it's going to be very easy. So let's get started anyway. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is get double uh, variables. So I'm going to call these POS for positive, neg for negative, and then zeros. These in the end is what we are going to use to count how many positive numbers we have, how many negative numbers we have, and how many zeros we have. And then we are going to calculate the ratios. So the ratio is going to be calculated using the size of our array. I can say in size equals R dot size. This is going to give me the size, the number of elements in our array. And then I can have a simple for loop for int i equals zero, i is less than size, meaning we're going to loop through the entire array. And then I can increase i at every iteration. And then I can simply have these conditional statements. So if the number at position i in the array is greater than zero, then we can say uh, we want to increase the counts of positive numbers by one. But first, before I do that, uh, let me just initialize these to be safe. So I can say POS equals neg equals zeros. And I can say all of these should be initialized with the value of zero. So now, um, because it's a single line, a single statement that I want to have for this condition, I can write it on, the, on one line, just like this here. If the number is greater than zero, then POS plus plus, like that. Else if the number is less than zero, then it is a negative number, in which case I want to increase the counts of negative numbers. Otherwise, it means it is zero, and then I want to increase the counts of zeros. So now the only thing that we can do is say C out equals POS divided by the size of elements in the array. And then I can have the same thing right here for negative numbers, because I want to compute the ratio of negative numbers and also of zeros. Let me just set the precision first, set precision to six decimal places. And I want zeros to be added. So let's say 0 0.4. Technically, we don't need to add these zeros, but I want them to show. So I can say fix like this. So these are what we call sticky manipulators in C++. These changes that are going to happen here on these numbers are going to stay on the stream. So it's also going to reflect for this number and then also this number. I don't have to repeat set precision here again and then set precision here again or fixed here and then fixed here as well because these are sticky. All right, so I think uh, that should be it for the codes. So uh, you can see we have exactly the same result as they do also with six decimal uh, places and this test also passed. So now I'm going to submit my code, make sure that I pass all the test cases, which of course I'm pretty sure I'm going to, I'm going to do very easily. So yeah, we just did. So that was it for this challenge, very easy. I'm going to set my screen back to the normal view. You guys can go ahead, try it out on your own. I'm not sure I'm going to post this as a gist on GitHub, but if you guys like this video, please make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications. Give this video a thumbs up, drop your comments in the comment section, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.